Hey guys, I know we're all so excited about the premiere of Motherland Fort Salem season three. Today I'm here to react to some of the promo material we've seen so far. Let's go. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry's Get right. Open at 12. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, they all look so pretty. Remember when we talked about the lighthouse? Do you watch the boats? I watch the boats. Wouldn't have to look over our shoulder. <gasps> it's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Because, like, Scylla's been running her entire life right? She's never had like stability. And so like her just lying in bed with Raelle, just being like stable. That's so fucking cute. I have to buy groceries. Groceries, snacks, snacks, snacks make dinner. Turn library, turn books. library books. Such a nerd. <laughs> we sound so exciting. No, but things are nice. It's a good dream. What's wrong with dreaming? Nothing. The same thing goes for Rael, right? Because saying that it's like the first time she's ever had a future to believe in. And it's because it's because of Scylla. And it's because of like the growth that they've had together. Taylor and Amalia have like the best like joint chemistry of any two people I've ever seen. Like they are so connected, especially in this moment with like the little like blanket over them and it's just like cozy and just is so it I feels so warm and I love I it like nice else. really yeah. mm. ah, ah. I love them both it's so cute Abigail Bellwether Rail Collar and Tally Craven Baby all currently Clovis. fugitives from justice Absolutely. For too long, witches have lived as a separate society within this nation. Who is that? It's time for Dill. them to come to an end. Ooh. <gasps> the Marshal can break through Adil's um, hiding magic. So he can, like... Oh. Yeah. That's really the Camarilla don't care about borders or treaties. They're an enemy to all witches. Okay. The Great War isn't coming. It's already here. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> we need to be careful. Circle. Lightning. Ancient witches. Interesting. Very interesting. I have thoughts. Hold on. You can change the world with what you can do. But that comes at a price. <gasps> Nick does looking cute. So Jess. Jess is always cute. <gasps> yeah. Yes. moment the very union of our country will be tested nick does like just blowing up helicopters <laughs> find the source of your sight okay i'm gonna talk about this when i do some predictions at the end but the coolest thing from this trailer is that we are seeing how like powerful tally is being able to like see sound and see where things are coming from and see the frequency that the camera was using right but in here she can see the future that's what we're all assuming her sight has gone beyond like ah. i'm excited hold on let's continue something terrible okay but 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 rail with blood coming out of her mouth that makes me deeply uncomfortable. I hate that. Um, and if anyone hurts her, I'll be very upset. <laughs> Let her rest. Let Rayle rest. <gasps> okay, but the the twisting scene, the where the, the room is spinning, I just think of the song from High School Musical 3 where the hallway is spinning around. I'm sure it's a very dramatic moment. And I'm sure it's beautifully acted and beautifully written. But with Amalia clinging to the side like a cat about to fall off something and Jess pinned against the wall, it looks hilarious. If this is the end, then we fight. I will be guiding you. 
Abigail looks so beautiful and so strong and just like she's come into herself. Season two, she was like going through it. Here, she just looks really strong and really self-assured and like she knows who she's meant to be. Um, and I love that for her. She's needed that. Let's get to the entertainment. Fuck you, Hearst. <gasps> no one heard Anacostia. <laughs> Hearst, keep your grubby mitts off Anacostia, please. Absolutely not. Stay away from Bring it. Hell yeah, get it, Scylla. Scylla looks so powerful. Someday soon we'll go away together. I promise. Our babies. It just feels like every goodbye might be the last. We won't let it be. The call for a hug. Oh no. We just do not lose hope. Okay. The wedding situation. We need to discuss. I don't have as big of a problem with the outfits as nearly everybody else seems to. But my problem is the fact that I think that it's a setup. I don't think it's a real wedding. I think that probably the marriages will be real. Who's to say? But I think it's some sort of elaborate setup for the Camarilla because like M is also wearing like their nice little, their nice little suit. Everyone's looking very nice, but also slightly concerned. I think there's something fishy with it. Like, I don't think it's a dream. A lot of people have been saying that they think it's a dream. I don't think it's a dream. I think that it's some sort of like setting up the Camarilla for an attack or something like that. Rayla marriage? Absolutely, yes. Would love it. Abigail and Adil marriage? Equally would love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous people. I just don't think that it's true. Anyway, that's good to do. We are stronger. Mushroom older, the the natural evolution from group older. That's a fantastic trailer. There's a lot going on. Um, I think that they're definitely gonna pull a little bit of a cheeky bait and switch on us with a with a couple of things like the wedding. I will love to be right when I'm right. Yeah, great trailer. I loved it. Ten out of ten. I didn't want to fight because I knew I would end up dying fighting to protect people who hated me. Is that Scylla in uniform? Hmm. Hmm. The topic of the collars around their necks. They look like the collars that were on Scylla when she was in the dungeon, but like more ceremonial. So I'm wondering if this is like a execution situation, which I hope it's not because yikes, or some sort of cheeky Camarilla move. How can a witch ever be trusted? You know who can't be trusted? Fucking VP Silver. You. You killed your daughter. Fuck you. <gasps> or so we thought. Penelope is now screaming in a chamber. Um, hope she's okay. Seems like she's also going through it. Go against them and lethal work will have to be used. You're like when you're angry, you're stronger. Okay. I think that... Scylla this season is going to be very unhinged. It's like connecting her to her anger because she's very controlled and been very calculated. So having her being a little bit more wild will be. This is the end. Then we fight. Ooh, Scylla being wrapped in like mycelium. I have a theory. Hold out. Do not lose hope, motherland, Fort Salem. Hurst with bandage on his neck. He has without a doubt implanted witch vocal cords in his neck to like be a witch. Because Elliot mentioned that we're going to like bring into question what it is that is a witch. Like is a made witch still a witch? If he gives himself the powers, is he still a witch? I really hope that's what's happened. It has to be what's happened. Hearst is the only one crazy enough to do that. The thing about the mycelium strands around Scylla, there's also debate about who it is. 100% in my mind it's Scylla because it looks like Scylla. Everything about the face looks like Scylla. Everything about the hair looks like Scylla. I don't see what people are seeing when they say they think it looks like Rael. What I think is happening there is that Scylla is making a move to save Rael. We'll talk more about my predictions at the end, about why exactly I think that is. Another A plus trailer. I do agree with what a lot of people have been saying about the trailers showing us a little bit too much. I think that it would have been nice for a couple of things to have been more surprising, but I still stand by. I think that 
a lot of this is going to be a misdirect um, in a lot of ways. I think we're going to meet a lot more surprises than we expect. Now, the uh, everyone's favourite Rayla sneak peek. I have not been able to avoid it on Twitter. Oh, you're so bad. Here I am. You were wearing way too many clothes. <laughs> Okay, Amalia, <laughs> stop. <laughs> um, uh, listen, good work. <laughs> Rail clearly is just trying to jump her girlfriend at work, which is so funny. I think that they are. In the words of the synopsis, enjoying their time reconnecting. <laughs> A plus, good work. <laughs> okay, my season three predictions, they're probably not particularly special and that's all good. My number one prediction is that Rael gets stuck in the mycelium. I don't know how she does it, hanging out with Alda, probably hanging out with the rest of our uh, dearly beloved departed witches i personally hope that we see liver not sure if we will but i would love a little reappearance of liver i also truly hope we see willa i've also seen some people talking about maybe seeing Scylla's parents in there as well give rail the opportunity to meet parents like Scylla got last season don't know about that one but it would be a very nice moment if we got there my predictions for Scylla are that she is going to go absolutely wild animal this season, especially if Rael does get stuck somewhere and Scylla can't access her. I see their relationship in a very similar way as the metaphor from Hill House, which is, you know, the kite and the line. Without Rael, I think Scylla becomes a little bit untethered. We've heard Amalia talk about Scylla becoming in touch with her anger, uh, especially in the episode with Nicta. I think that Scylla's going to get scary, but in a really cool way um, and just show how incredibly passionate she is uh, for Rael, for her newfound family. I also think all of this is going to bring her far closer to Tally and to Abigail. I think this dedication that Scylla is going to show to getting Rael back is going to really cement that family bond uh, between the four of them, which I think is going to be really beautiful. Like I said with Tally, seeing her getting more in check with her own power, seeing how incredibly powerful she's going to become, I'm so excited for that. It's going to be amazing. With Abigail, just seeing her become a leader, she's always been a leader within the group, a leader for her own self and also for the people around her. She's a Leo through and through to me. Got that fire sign energy, got that pride uh, but is deeply sensitive. So I just don't want to see Abigail taking any more hits, really. I want to see Alda come back, and we're going to. It's very exciting. Um, I will deeply miss Groot Alda, our lovely tree general. But um, seeing her, I think, more in contact with, I guess, nature and that divine feminine as well will be really, really powerful. I know the Tolders will be very excited for that. Um, the thing with Nicta, I'm really worried that Nicta isn't going to survive this season. I think that she as a character is so redeemable. She is an amazing character, but I feel as though there will be, there is a worrying trend that the easy redemption for a character who has killed as many people as Nicta has um, is to have her sacrifice herself. I think that it's very possible. I hope that it's not true. <laughs> if that doesn't happen, um, I'd love to see her getting more in contact with what was good about her history in the military in the terms of sisterhood and the terms of growing strength with other people because she is a bit of a lone wolf or lone bat perhaps. The boys, I just want them to continue being hilarious and great little additions to the group. Um, Gregorio and Adil are two really positive characters on the screen. Adil is so powerful. Gregorio is so charming and so funny. 
um, they're needed to our cast and to the show. Kalita, I sit in the camp that I find Kalita terrifying. Love her as a character. Truly scary child. I hope she just keeps doing what she's doing. I hope that Hearst dies. I also hope that Silver dies. The president, I think she's going to die relatively early in the season. M. We got to see the little promo of M sliding through the vents uh, like a penguin. I loved it. Absolutely A+. plus. M as a spy, super cool. Love that. I think that they are going to be really important this season. I really just hope we see more of their identity coming through on the screen. So I hope we actually hear people using their pronouns correctly, get a little bit more story for them if we can. I know that we're on a time crunch with our 40 minute episodes, but a little bit more for M would be really valuable for the non-binary community and also for the show as a whole. And in terms of the great war at the end, I think it's going to be epic. As Pranit said, a really cool wrap up to the trilogy of these first three seasons of Mother and Fort Salem. I don't think anybody should be using the word final. There's a lot more fight in the switches. There's a lot more fight in the cast. And the show, as we know, has a lot more to it that could and will be explored in the future. Keep doing everything you can to get Mother and Fort Salem out to as many people in your friend groups and in your families you know, get it into your communities as much as you can so that we can boost those numbers up and hopefully see a season four of Mother and Fort Salem move to Hulu or Netflix. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been so fun. Um, please remember to tune into the premiere of Mother and Fort Salem season three. Use the hashtags on Twitter. That is Save Mother and Fort Salem and Mother and Fort Salem. Every number counts. And we are going to keep doing all we can to bring this show to our screens again for season four. Thank you guys so much. Love you all.